Hi guys, it's Katrina here. Um, I thought I would make a video going over uh, the bullish and bearish crosses that I use. Um, I know I talk a lot about them when I post my charts. Um, so I thought I'd make a video showing you know what they are and how I use them. Um, I don't really see a lot of people you know talk about them or uh, maybe they don't use them, maybe they don't know how to use them. Um, but there are bullish and bearish crosses and sometimes they avert, you know, so you can, you know, based off which way the bullish and bearish cross uh, is going, you can go long, you can go short, um, but it really, like, man, you can really tell sometimes um, where reversals, you know, starting or um, if price is going to go up or go down. Uh, so yeah, uh, let's go ahead and get started. So uh, we are looking at Square, the six month daily chart. And I have uh, two ways that I look at uh, a bullish or bearish cross. Um, and my first way is the 13 EMA, which is my blue line. That's the 13 exponential moving average where that crosses the mid or center Bollinger Band, this mid Bollinger Band, because I use Bollinger Bands. Um, so if you don't use Bollinger Bands, you're gonna miss this you know, 13 EMA crossing the mid Bollinger Band bullish or bearish cross. Uh, so I know a lot of people don't use Bollinger Bands, so there, you guys are gonna miss those people or you guys are gonna miss this bullish or bearish uh, cross to help you. Um, and the second way is when the 13 EMA crosses uh, the 50 EMA. So my 13 EMA is blue, my 50 EMA is purple. So where they cross, that's bullish or bearish. Uh, price goes up or price goes down. And also, you know, if it averts it, you know, sometimes it averts that cross. Um, so if you, you know, uh, don't use a 13 or the 50 EMA, you know, I, I'm not sure if like the 9 or the 21 or all those work the same. Maybe they do. I'd probably have to look at them and I'd probably be able to tell. But uh, I know for a fact that the 13 EMA crossing the 50 EMA can be bullish or bearish causing price to go up or go down. So I have no reason to look at the 9 or the 21 or, you know, whatever. Um, so yeah, so I have two, there's two ways on my charts to see a bullish or bearish cross. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. We're looking at square. Uh, start from the very beginning. So like right over here, you can see where uh, the 13 EMA bearish crossed the mid Bollinger Band. So that it's above and then it crossed below. Like that's a bearish cross. Uh, price goes down. So price went down. Um, and then look right here, the, the 13 EMA was, a, was above the 50, but bearish cross went below the 50. Like that's a bearish cross there. So price really went down. Um, <clears throat> you know, had a huge move down. Looks like it kind of like played around with its 200 EMA here. And, um, <clears throat> you know, back tested its 13 EMA. You know, I always talk about how, you know, huge move down. Um, and then back test the 13 EMA, and what does it do from there? Does it go higher or go back lower? It looks like it went higher. So knowing, me knowing like it's going higher here, I'm watching where this 13 EMA is going, because I know it's, if it, you know, price is going up, it's gonna drag that 13 EMA up and, and you know, most likely cross uh, bullish, look, it crossed the 13 EMA, across the mid Bollinger Band right here, bullish. Um, sometimes though, like, you know, if you have a bunch of red days, it inverts that bullish cross and that's where, you know, you want to go short or, you know, you want to wait for a bottom, another bottom, short term bottom. But anyways, it bullish crossed. Now, a lot of times, you know, it, it could be a huge move up, you know, but unfortunately with Square here, it has this 50 EMA in the way. Plus, it's got a, you know, upper Bollinger Band racing down. Like, that, you know, is going to put pressure on price, too. Um, so, actually, between the 50 EMA and the lower Bollinger Band, it kind of muted, muted this, you know, price action or this bullish cross. Um, but, you know, price did hold its mid Bollinger Band, so that's bullish. 
Um, and then eventually, look at that, the 13 may crossed above the 50. So that's a bullish cross right there. Um, and look at price. Price went up, 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 up. Um, and then it, let's see. So then, you know, it makes a huge move up, back test is 13 EMA, you know, and it looks like it tried to go back up, but that upper Bollinger Band is in its way. Um, so then it, you know, comes back down, looks like it lost its 13, lost its mid, but it's kind of dancing around there. And, and notice, you know, I'd be watching, like notice this 13 EMA, like it's either gonna cross it bearish or it's gonna avert, you know. And man, this one really, uh, it, 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 you know, mess, it, it really took a couple days, but it eventually lost, the 13 EMA, sorry, bearish cross the mid Bollinger Band, so price went down. Um, and then after that, I would be watching for is this 13 EMA gonna bearish cross this 50 EMA, you know, for price to go even lower. Um, but you know, with this green candle here, it helped avert. See how it averted this bearish cross, this green candle, and this green candle. Like, uh, I would have been like, oh, go, you know, I, I, you. If you get really good, you can be like, I'm go you know, you, you can tell it's a birding, so you would go long. And you'd catch all this right here. Um, probably some of this, maybe even some of this or this. Because uh, it inverted, like these did not cross. The 13 EMA did not um, bearish cross, it averted it. <clears throat> so when a bearish cross is averted, you go long. When a bullish cross is averted, you go short. Um, you know, so you could also use, besides the crosses, when they avert the cross, like I, you know, talk about that in my charts, when it's, it's averting, you know, a, a bearish or bullish cross. Anyways, so, you know, you know what it looks like I missed one, like right here, the 13 EMA, it was kind of below here, and look, it bullish crossed. So besides averting the, um, this 13 EMA, 50 EMA bearish cross, you know, the 13 EMA bullish cross at the same time. So, you know, when you got, you know, a couple bullish or bear, you know, bullish crosses together like that, it helps, like, a, really makes price explode. Um, anyways, it, you know, it made a huge move up, back tested its 13 EMA. You know, it looks like it back tested its uh, mid Bollinger Band. And right here, I would have been watching for this 13 EMA. Is it gonna bearish cross, you know, back, you know, the mid Bollinger Band? But it didn't, it averted it again, you know, and price is still, you know, went way up, still up here, you know, above 13 EMA. Anyways, you know, makes a move up, back test this 13 EMA, loses it. And then look, here's where the 13 EMA bears across the mid Bollinger Band, price goes down. Um, and, you know, it kind of just hung out here, you know, it's below the mid Bollinger Band, it's like it's never like crossed you know, like bullish crossed it for price to go way up. It's just kind of hanging out, muted here. Uh, and then right here, it finally just breaks. Like you also see the Bollinger Band squeezing in and you know, that's not always, you know, bullish. Right here, it's bearish. Anyways, the 13 made lost, you know, the mid Bollinger Band, so that's a bearish cross. Um, price goes down. And then in that process, it brings a 13 EMA down by the 50. Um, and as you know, you see, I've been watching to see if they avert this bearish cross or if it happens. And it looks like they were, you know, they, they was trying to bearish cross, but it, it didn't do a very good job. I mean, sometimes, and this, this doesn't tell me a lot. It doesn't tell me like, oh, to go, you know, long, doesn't tell me to go short. Like sometimes they do that to you. Um, there's sometimes you're not, there isn't a clear signal. Um, but anyways, it looks like the 13 EMA right here tried to bullish cross the mid Bollinger Band for price to go up, and it failed. It failed. It lost it. So price goes down. So now you know we're right here, um, right where the 13 EMA could bullish cross this mid Bollinger Band, and if that happens, maybe it could bullish cross this uh, 50 EMA. That's what I'm watching for. Or or if you got another red day Monday, like a red day Monday, it could be averting the bullish cross. So green day would probably cross it. A red day on Monday would it would help avert this bullish cross. So so that's square. Um, I wanted to talk about BBIG because that one I just did, um, and I. Uh, 
had talked about the um, how it's averting the uh, bearish cross, and I went long, and I caught I didn't caught, catch all of it, but I caught a lot of it. Um, anyways, this Vinco Ventures very popular right now. Um, but you know, I was posting about all this, how it lost the fifty, lost fifty. You know, it's tested it, lost it, uh, and that you know, like right here, I was like, man, it's very close to bearish crossing. The thirteen EMA is very close to bearish crossing this fifty, and you know, and I saw this green candle, and I'm like, they are gonna burp. They're gonna burp that. Like, I also could tell by this lower Bollinger Band. With you know, this lower Bollinger Band would have kept rolling over here, like kept going down. It, you know, the price would have gone down, they would have had the bearish cross. But I could tell by this uh, upper bowl, this lower bowl in your was putting in, you know, support. It's, you know, uh, I just, I don't know, I could tell that they were averting by this candle, they were averting it. Like it would have happened the next day. Uh, or even maybe this day with a red candle, it would have happened. So I went long this day and I caught, I, I caught most of this. Um, it went way further than I expected, but whatever. I made a trade based off them averting, me knowing that they were averting the bearish cross. That's how you can use that. Now, it looks like a bullish cross, the mid Bollinger Band um, yesterday. Um, and I mean, look at that, look at that candle. Like that's part of your bullishness, you know? Um, like there's nothing in the way until that upper Bollinger Band, which is around the eights, you know? So it, it was allowed to go up. Um, so, you know, we'll, you know, I just wanted to show you that. Uh, what other one do I have? Um, my SPX that I've been showing lately. This is a good one on SPX because SPX for the longest time had no bearish crosses forever because it just was so bullish for so long till recently. Um, <clears throat> but I mean, notice right here, this this is where it averted like 13 EMA averted like it, it should have bearish crossed the mid bollinger band and it didn't it averted it right here again um could have you know bearish crossed the mid bollinger band but nope they averted the bearish cross right here price went up finally finally in september there was a bearish cross um and of course price went down it looked like it you know it looked like they were trying to avert it here, but there was this green candle here trying to push it back up. But you know, didn't it didn't work because it didn't break out. There wasn't another green candle, so you know, had the bearish cross, price goes down. Well, that brings you know, when price falls, that brings the 13 EMA down. And look, here's your 50. So is it going to cross? You know, bearish is, is the 13 EMA going to bearish cross this 50 EMA? Um, and it looks like with this candle, this green candle, that it helped avert it, and then another green candle helped avert that bearish cross. But unfortunately, price could never break out of the mid Bollinger Band here, um, so it lost it. And in the process, the 13 EMA finally bearish crossed the 50. Uh, so price goes down, um, you know, went down, and then back, you know, up, back up here. Um, and then this is the big thing I was watching, you know, you watch for is the 13 EMA could have easily a bullish cross right here. But guess what? It didn't. They did not let it. They, it was like failed breakout, failed breakout. They did not let price um, bullish cross here. The 13 EMA bullish cross the mid bullinger brand for price to go up. Instead, they brought it back down. This is averting it. I think I talked about how it's averting right here. This is averting. And this right here showed me price was going to go down. And it did. It only went down for one more day that, you know, but it's still like you, at least I knew, I knew, you know, uh, Mon was this, so this is Monday, is this Tuesday, this was Tuesday, I knew Tuesday was going to be bearish, right, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, yeah, uh, because they, they were averting this 13 EMA from bullish crossing the mid Bollinger Band, um, so, you know, I, I missed out on a whole day of price, you know, action going down, I was, you know, I, I wasn't in a lot of things, um, and then with, and like they could have really averted it here, the, you know, but this green candle here, I was like, oh man, they're, you know, the, now price probably will finally, you know, like I knew yesterday, like it was either going to avert it again or, you know, but this green candle, I really had a feeling that, that they would bullish cross it. So I was in going long and did well. 
like a lot of you guys. But they bullish crossed it here, finally. Uh, also, um, since the you know the price, you know the price finally lost mid Bollinger Band, and, and you know like for what a month and a half or so, like could not break it. Like I knew, like once it finally breaks that mid Bollinger Band, which price does, like that's you know gonna price is gonna skyrocket. And you put that on top of a bullish cross, like look at that price because of that. Anyways, I mean everything looks really good. Look, the upper Bollinger Band. Um, it slanted up it you know um, I was talking about how it, this was not good with it you know pointing down but it, it reversed so that looks good but price is like right at it uh, so not sure like how much more room I don't know I guess we'll see but the big thing I'm looking for is this 13 EMA bullish cross in the 50 here like that could happen Monday Tuesday or they could avert it you know if some bad news over the weekend or China or whatever you know um, that's what I'm looking for. Like, if that bullish crosses the 50, like, price is really going to go up more. But if it averts it with a red candle Monday or Tuesday, it could be averting it. I don't know yet. Um, but, you know, I hope this uh, helps you out on bullish and bearish crosses and also when they avert. Um, my only concern is, is, like, a lot of you guys, I don't know if you use... Uh, Bollinger Bands, which is one of the ways for the bullish cross. I don't know if you guys use the 13 EMA and the 50 EMA, uh, which is, you know, the using the bullish or bearish cross. Um, so, uh, but, you know, maybe at least uh, when I talk about it on my charts, maybe you'll understand a little more what a bullish and bearish cross is. Uh, you know, also, like, I know I do use the 200 EMA, uh, let's go back to square, I guess. Uh, or let's, I don't know, let's just go back to square. That's fine. Square, 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 square. You know, but, like, I, like, even if the 13 EMA crosses, you know, the 200, I, it's not a big deal to me. And I I do know that when the, the 50 EMA, you know, uh, bearish crosses, you know, the 200, that's the death cross. Uh, when the 50 MA bullish crosses the 200, that's, you know, the golden cross. I do know about those crosses. I don't really use them too much because they, they tend to lag, like the price lags, or it's way ahead of it. Um, like the price action is way ahead of, you know, before the cross, those crosses happen with the 200. So I don't really pay attention to the 200 um, crosses, FYI. I just use my 13 EMA bullish or bearish cross in the mid bollinger band or the um 13 ema bullish or bearish crossing the 50 ema um or if they avert it so that's all i use you know a bullish cross you go long a bearish cross you go short um if they avert the bullish cross you go short if they avert the bearish cross you go long uh so that's how you use those to your advantage um so uh, I hope this helps you guys out on uh, how to, you know, read or use bullish and bearish crosses. If you have any questions, you know, feel free to um, ask me questions in my uh, tweet. I will add this video to my pinned tweet. Um, so, yeah. Hope you enjoy. Thanks. Bye, guys.